This isn't necessarily new news. It's a couple weeks old, but it's new to me, and I figure it's worth worth sharing. UNICEF report says child says pornography is not always harmful to children. UNICEF, if you're not familiar, is uh, a department or the subsidiary of the UN, and it was uh, founded to address child trafficking, if I recall correctly. Um, Anyways, it's a part of the UN. It's tasked with taking care of kids, basically. Um, All right. A UN agency is again immersed in controversy for a recent report suggesting there is no conclusive evidence that children exposed to porn are harmed. Um, If you're not familiar with UN agency controversies, you should look it up. There's been so many um, abuse allegations leveled at the UN over the decades. It's astonishing. Anyways, the report published by the UN's Children's Fund, UNICEF, addresses how government policy can be used to protect children from harmful, abusive, or violent content online. Its conclusion is based on the European study of 19 EU countries that found in most countries most children who saw pornographic images were neither upset nor happy. In fact, the report UNICEF relied on says that 39% of Spanish children were happy after seeing pornography. Um, Porn fighters disagree with UNICEF data. UNICEF UNICEF's report ignores the vast body of research demonstrating the harms of child pornography to children. By ignoring the real harms uh, porn can have, UNICEF is playing roulette with children's health and safety, said Lisa Thompson, vice president and director of the Research Institute of the National Center on Sexual Exploitation. Thompson's organization, which provides expert research to inform policy decisions to end the the sexual abuse and exploitation of women and children has found that pornography can be a central driver of this abuse. Um, Real quick before we move on, I would like to suggest that this isn't just UNICEF playing roulette with children's health and safety. It's closer to grooming almost. No, it is closer to grooming. Mainstream pornography contains horrific sexual abuse, rape, incest, racism, all of which children should not consume, continued Thompson. And UNICEF's milk with milk toast assessment of the impacts hardcore porn have on children does nothing to challenge the political narrative that pornography is benign and as a result puts children in harm's way. The 2020 study is called the EU Kids Online Study concluded that some children and young people intentionally seek out sexual content for a variety of reasons and that seeing sexual images might also represent an opportunity to provide answers to questions about puberty and sexual identity. The study encouraged seeing the nuances which lead children to seek out and view sexual content online. UNICEF says any efforts to block children from accessing porn online might infringe on their human rights. UNICEF bases this claim on an expansive interpretation of the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights. I would say that is expansive. UNICEF also claims that asking for age verification to assess pornography online may deny children access to what it calls vital sexuality education. Um, 
Where to start on that? Wonder what what important sexual education they think that that they'll be learning. I mean, could you imagine having your early understanding of se- understanding of sexuality molded by a visit to Pornhub? You'd think that, I mean, everything's incest, right? Or step siblings. Crazy. Um, where was I? It should also be noted that criticals that critics charge comprehensive sexual education is pornographic and harmful to children. Which it is. There's no reason a kindergartner needs to learn how to masturbate. UNICEF's release of this report comes just days after the U.S. Agency for International Development announced its renewal of a long-standing partnership with UNICEF, committing, committing an additional $300 million in direct program funding. The U.S. is UNICEF's largest government donor. Uh, donating almost $994 million in 2020. UNICEF generally has joined the feminist push at the UN and calls for abortion. The Children's Agency was founded to help displaced children after the Second War. World War. <coughs> Critics say it strayed from its path, or from its founding vision. Um, this call for children's access to pornography under the guise of human rights and sex ed underscores this change. Yes, it does. Uh, so this is I don't know what this is it's grooming, it's child abuse it's normalization of pedophilia Um, pornography depicts some very unhealthy um sexual behavior especially if you don't have context to understand what is where this particular kink or you know type of sex where it might fit into human sexuality sexuality as a whole if you're taking your first introduction to this stuff off a visit to Pornhub's homepage then you're going to be getting disproportionately huge doses of what uh, incest or you know slap a step you just throw the word step in front of whatever relative is in the title then then yeah you're going to get incest you're going to get violence a lot of a lot of bond you know You've all been there. You know what I'm talking about. Um, And for UNICEF to make this suggestion, I mean, it's just, it's impossible for this to be naivety in my mind. There's no way that the, such a huge, powerful global organization is just this dumb to think that porn's good for children. Look at this study. They didn't mind it. They kind of liked it. Well, there is actually a ton of data showing that porn is harmful. Um, And I was shocked to learn some of it from a YouTube video by John Doyle. And I'll link it in the comments. I really suggest you uh, take a look at it. Uh, it blew my mind because I, uh, you know, you hear people talk about porn addiction and this and that, and and how porn's a problem. And I'd always had the historical perspective that it's not an addiction. That's not a real addiction. Porn's not an addiction. 
sex isn't an addiction. Um, you know, gambling might barely be an addiction, but I've been to rehab. I know what a fucking addiction is, and it's drugs or alcohol, right? That was my attitude. Um, but then I watched this video that John Doyle made, and he goes into the science behind this shit, the psychology, the chemistry, um, and puts together a compelling argument against pornography um, and showing how you just got to watch it. I'll link it. Um, it completely did a, did a 360, did a 180. I did a 180 in my perspective on porn. So I'm going to link that. I hope that you guys check it out. I insist you do. And before we go, um, you know what? This isn't a, um, this is not really directly relevant to what the article was but it is interesting you should look at it thanks for watching like subscribe comment share